if we can get it to fill first? Yeah, just we got the tire up. We'll be able to get it on the trailer, it runs and everything. So we're just awaiting the semi truck to get here to pick this bad boy up. If we have enough air in the tires, we'll see. That was crazy that the DPW guys said they've never seen anything like that before. They've seen it. I think they might have. No, they've heard about it. They've never seen it actually. They, they were videotaping us. Spraying the carb spray and lighting it and seeing it itself right on the bead. God, that thing is huge. Yeah. 
thing is huge. drive back to the house this is just a good spot to unload it this big open parking lot for the uh, tractor trailer to be able to turn around <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah, it's almost to the second floor of the whole house. What the heck? <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my god, we thought that loader we got last week was cool. That thing is about the size of the bucket, the small one we got last week. Yeah. This thing is huge. I don't know. I'm speechless. I've said everything I could possibly say other than we can walk around and show everything. It's a four yard bucket. This thing, this, three scoops would load the dump truck up. This thing is massive. You could literally just like sleep in the bucket and make <laughs> it a little bed. <laughs> when it gets uh, too hot, just go inside and turn the AC on. Yeah, so what uh, year is it? By the VIN number, it's a 2008. 2008 JCB. Yeah, 436. 436. It's basically a quarry loader, honestly. Yeah. A big, huge loader. Uh, it was used by a township to load up salt and do DPW work around the township. So uh, it's going to need some paint, um, but there's no rot other than a couple small little spots. Everything is solid. Look at the bucket. If it was if it was really loading salt every single winter for the past 15 years, it would look worse than this. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look at the. The top. paint's just look. scaling off from a little bit of surface rust, but. I'm six feet. So these tires are. Four and a half feet, maybe? Oh, Maybe more than that. Wow. Uh, yeah, you, you can see scaly paint. Yeah. We'll clean that up. Yeah, painting it will be fine. It's, it's kind of uh, good at scaling because it'll come off easier. Yeah. Get it down to the bare metal, and this thing is going to look brand new in a few days. Um, it doesn't have any leaks. It's greasy, but it's not leaking anything. Uh, yeah. Supposedly, we think it's bigger, but it's a 5.9 Cummins diesel. Uh, it kind of looks like a 6.7 Cummins, honestly, but I, by the book and the specs online, it's showing that it's a 5.9 Cummins. Uh, this is the only spot of rot, is this door right here from probably getting flung up from the wheel. And this little panel. This here. is like a weather strip, I That's think. That's all it is, yeah. I mean, we can open it. I tried it closed with weed whacker string just to, uh, so it didn't fly open when the shipper guy was bringing it home. Yeah, it's just up to here, though. It's, I mean, that's fixable. The rest of it though, yeah, you can see behind here is just, this is just paint. Yep, it's not rot, it's yeah. just the paint. Uh, the paint's just say? bubbling, but the, the surface underneath is probably, I don't know how thick, thick. it is, an inch at least yeah, for the frame, right? It's gotta be. metal, really yeah. metal. I mean, it's probably thicker than this, so. The roof is plastic, so there's no rust up there. I mean, this swings open. Let's take like a I look. Like I said, crusty rust, but not rotted yeah. through. That's savable too. We'll get a better look at the motor on the other side, but uh, the motor is in, is very clean. Very, very, very clean. You'd think it'd look a little bit worse, but it looks, it's spotless. It's not leaking anything. Yeah. Uh, you got your big radiator with the fan back here. The side metal's a little bit rotted, but uh, yeah, just look chips of stuff. Common rail, yeah. right? I guess, I, I, we're not Cummins people. We don't really know that much about them. Uh, yeah, we'll 
I'll show them the motor from this side. Um, this door has been shut so long we had to hit the hinge with a hammer, but you can get a really good look at the engine on this side. Yeah, look at that. The turbo, you got the pipes and everything. Exhaust your, pipes, your big air box. Yeah. Look at how clean. The turbo. No grease, no oil, no sludge. If you know what motor this is, drop it in the comments. It's, it's definitely a 5.9 comment, so it has to be. Yeah. Um, but it's quiet. It runs smooth. It's almost like it is. this is a giant DPF. Yeah, it looks like a giant DPF yeah. to me. So the exhaust I comes up and goes through the turbo up into the DPF, say. Or, That's why I don't think they've replaced the it. Did they replace it? Maybe? No, I, I don't know if they have that on this. But this piece, this is the piece that's kind of gone on the other side. This one's yeah. solid. You're probably laughing at us looking at pieces like this falling off of it saying that, that thing's a piece of them. junk. But it's just, no it's not. There's a lot of life left in this machine. And, and it's the just, good news is it, it needs only to be has, cleaned up. It only has 4,900 hours, which is nothing. The tires are in fantastic shape. Um, the front one was off the bead when we picked it up. We had to spray some starter fluid and light it up and explode it out to seat the bead and then fill it up with air. We still have some ways to go with the air, but the, the valve stems on these things, are they're not normal size, they're ginormous. Yeah, let me just we take this cap off. To, uh, you gotta fill it up the rest of the way with air. Yeah. Look at how big that is. Look how many lugs are holding the wheel on. Yeah, I, I can't even count, it's like 20. This thing's a monster. We'll jump up, we'll show the cab. The door's been replaced with plexiglass. Something must have happened there, but it's watertight, airtight. Yeah, go ahead up there. You need the ladder to get into this thing, it's crazy. Uh, very clean. Look at the ceiling, the roof. What it doesn't look like anybody the smoked headliner. in it, right? No. Nope. They weren't smoking cigarettes. Clean. I'm putting dirt on it by touching it. Yeah. It's got a radio, it's got all your bells and whistles, your lights. Uh, it's four speeds, forward, neutral, reverse, or you can run it off this joystick, which is also controls all the arms. We'll start it up real quick. Yeah. Manual parking brake. Ooh. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. But uh, okay, we'll just show the, I think the hour should Ooh. show up. It runs through its cycles. That's nothing. Nothing. Yeah, start it These up. things usually have 10 to 15,000 hours being 15 years old. Uh, it's, it's a smooth runner. Yeah. I mean, the horn works. The wind is picking up. Huh? The wind's picking up. Let me go down there. Yeah, you can see the tires a little bit low. Oh my God, it's freaking huge. unbelievable yeah I feel like a kid who just got his first bike or his first Tonka truck uh, I never thought that we would have we're not keeping it but to have something this big and uh, this is really really cool this is yeah. a, a moment I've dreamed of in my life to, have, to own something this big piece of equipment we've always had trucks buy and sell trucks and some cool tractors and whatnot we've never had anything like this and uh, we're not keeping it hard work does pay off to be able to not afford something like this because we're just flipping it but to even have the chance to say we owned it uh yeah. this thing's cool i feel like a little kid what'd they say Thirty-five thousand is the spec on it pounds it's thirty-five thousand eight hundred pounds yeah the so original have, price is still on the window it's 129 right 129 back, in, back in 2008 yeah so imagine what if, what this thing goes for now probably a buck 75 to 200 maybe yeah uh a buddy of ours bought a used one of these only a couple years old for like a hundred 
So I don't know. Do we tell everyone what we paid for it? Uh, we we got this for an unbelievable price. Yeah. Unbelievable. You would think that we stole it, but unbelievable. We got this for thirteen thousand one hundred dollars, and then shipped was six hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, and we're going to go to town tomorrow, power washing all the crap off of it, prepping it up for paint. Some new decals. We're going to clean up around the cab and make this thing shine and put it for sale, probably in an auction or something. Uh, once again, we're doing this because side work is slow this year. Uh, we were due for a really long time for a pretty decent flip, and I think we found it here. Uh, now that it's here, I really don't want to sell it. <laughs> I want to take this whole hill out and put a new wall and do some work in the backyard and take the deck off the house, make a patio. But uh, now it's definitely going for sale. But it's just cool to say that we own this together. This is cool. Uh, I don't know. That's all I have to say. Yeah, what do that's... you guys think of the purchase price? And what do you think it's worth? Uh, we were poking around the computer. Some of them had 10,000, 12,000, 15,000 hours. They were still selling for a lot of money. Um, I don't know. You look at it from the side, it's a massive piece of equipment that, yeah, paint does sell. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to fix the paint since it's not rotted out. But as you see it, it's like, eh, it could be in better shape. But once you get down to the nitty gritty and you realize it's just the paint flaking, I don't know. I think we made out pretty well. That's why I think we made out well is because the pictures don't really show what it is. Yeah. You couldn't you couldn't tell what it was. You, yep. I mean, we knew what it was because we heavily inspected the pictures and yep. did our research, but unbelievable. <clears throat> yeah, that'll wrap this video up. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Are we crazy? Are we insane? It's a smart purchase. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We'll see you on the next one, and please give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Have a good one.